Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, my dear students, in today's lesson. What are we going to do in today's lesson? So, today's lesson is expansion. Today's part is going to be about reading. So, before we start with the reading, let's take a look at the previous homework. What were you asked to do and what did you do about it? So, here you were asked to rewrite the sentences, replace the frequency expressions with adverbs of frequency like seldom, often, sometimes, and usually. So, you had these four sentences. So, did you, uh, let's take a look. So, what did you do about this? Here, the first sentence was, Khalid studies three times a week in the library. So, we're changing three times a week. With what? What is the suitable adverb for this expression? It's going to look like this. Khalid often studies in the library. So we switch, we change this uh, three times a week with the word often. Now, number two, Nawal doesn't walk to school every day. Doesn't walk to school. So she doesn't walk to school every day. So what is the, the answer going to look like? Nawal sometimes walks to school. Sometimes, not every day, but sometimes. But look, here we have Nawal and the adverb sometimes walks. We added S here to the verb walk. Walks to school. So now, how about the next one? Number three, my friend cleans his room once a year. So my friend seldom cleans his room. That means he rarely cleans his room. So we changed once a year with seldom. Now, the last one here, Hanan practices English with her friends almost every day. Now, for almost every day, we're going to change it into what? It's going to look like this. Hanan usually practices English with her friends. We changed almost every day with usually. Now, by the end of this lesson, what are you going to do? You will be able to identify the pastime game from the text and you're going to answer questions about games, which is a pastime activity we talked about before. Now, take a look at this picture. What do you see here? What is he doing? What is the boy doing here? What are the tools and the things around the boy? So, the boy looks like he's having fun and he's playing a video game or online game. See, he's using his computer, the mouse uh, here and the keyboard and the monitor and he, the boy have got headphones over his head. So it looks like he's playing an online game or a video game. Now, can you guess what is the text going to be about? It's about this. Look at this picture. What is this boy doing here too? So, looks like he's also playing an online game or a video game. So let's take a look at the title of this reading text. Now, from taking a look at the pictures, looks like the text is going to talk about some kind of games, online games or video games. Now, the title of this text. We only have a title, we don't have subtitles. So we have only one title. So let's read the title. Let the games begin. So this is the title of the text. Now. Let's read the text. Here I did highlight some words. Now, the words I highlighted here in the text, I want you to listen to uh, or read the, the context of this sentence. Here we have the word screams. What is the meaning of the word screams? Pay attention to the context of this word. Now, every time I'm reminding you, when you're reading a text, underline the words that you don't know its meaning so you can find it from the context or you can look for the answer or look for the meaning later. Now, let's read together so we can answer the questions. So the title here, Let the, game, Let the Games Begin. Ask teenagers around the world how they love to spend their free time. And chances are they'll all, uh, they'll, they'll all say video games. But no country can compare to South Korea 
for a love of video games. You walk around COEX Mall in Seoul on the weekend and you look around. Teenagers are hanging out, people are shopping, families are eating in the food courts, children are having fun. It's just like any other mall. And then you hear screams that are coming from the end of the corridor in the huge building. You walk in and what do you see? Hundreds of young people are waving signs and chanting songs. They are all fans of some of the nation's most famous sports stars, such as Lim Yu Han, Cho Yu Cho Yun Sung, and So Jim Han. Their sport is something you don't normally find in the West. They are all they are professional video gamers. People admire them for their skill in science fiction strategy game Star, Star, StarCraft. Next to these players in the panel, to uh, the panel of uh, com com commenters, commentators, and dozen of reporters, the players are not competing today. They are here for selection for a coming tournament. They are two, they, there are two full-time video games television networks in Korea and competitive gaming is one of, one of the top televised sports. Thousands of fans attend the StarCraft tournament finals in stadiums. But public video games areas are just for top players. South Korea has more than 20,000 public PC gaming rooms or bangs, which attract more than a million people a day. Video games are exciting and offers some real opportunities to solve problems and use strategic and critical thinking skills. Some parents usually encourage their children to play such video games as a way to relax as an escape from academic pressure and as a fun way to use brain power. Now, after reading uh, this text and looking at the words here that I highlighted, did you find the meaning of these words? If you didn't uh, find the meaning of the words, it's okay. You can just underline the words you didn't know its meaning and you can uh, look uh, for it later. But here we have some vocabulary and let's match this box for the, the box of the vocabulary to the meaning in the other box. Let's read the words here in the, the first box. Here the vocabularies are screams, torment, network, encourage, and pressure. Now, let's take a look at the meanings. So A here, to tell someone it's a good idea to do something. B, group of TV stations. C, stress. D, shouting. E, competition among a group of people or competition between a group of people. Now, let's take a look at the first one here. The word screams. Which one of these sentences is the meaning of the word screams? It's D. So screams, it means shouting shouting, speaking loudly, or shouting. Now, number two, the tournament. What is the meaning of this word? Let's check, so we're done with D. The meaning here is E. So a tournament, it's a competition among a group of people. This is the meaning of the word, a competition among a group of people. Now, how about network? What is the meaning of network? So which one of these? So this is the meaning of network. Network here, it's the letter B. Group of TV stations. Group of TV stations. So group of TV stations, we call it network. Now, how about this word, encourage? Encourage. What is the meaning of the word encourage? 
the meaning is to tell someone it's a good idea to do it, to do something. So people in uh, Korea are encouraging their uh, children to play these video games. Now, how about the last word, the word pressure, pressure. What is the meaning of the word pressure? So pressure here, it means stress. So here is the box of the vocabulary. And these are the meaning of these words here. So did you guess the, uh, did you guess the meaning from the context when I highlighted the words? Now, let's take a look. Answer the questions about the article. So the article was talking about the video games or online games. So let's read the first question. What are people doing in the mall on the weekend? So what are some of the activities that were mentioned in the article? Teenagers are hanging out, people are shopping, families are eating in food courts, and lastly, and children are having fun. These are the things that people can do in the mall from the text. So what are the people doing in the weekend? So these are the things that were mentioned in the text. Now, the next question, what can you hear in a part of the mall? So in the article, they were speaking about the part of the mall when you heard something. What do we call this? There are screams, screams. It's one of the new words. We uh, found, found the meaning uh, of this word in the, in the text. There are screams coming from a part of the mall where people are playing video games. So the people uh, are uh, the part the, that the people are playing these video games. You are going to hear screams coming from that part because people are shouting and cheering. Now, the next question, what are the fans doing? So what are the fans doing in the mall? They are waving signs and chanting songs or slongs. Uh, slogans. So they are waving and chanting and cheering for their uh, for the players, just like if they are sports players, but they are a video game video games players. Now, let's take a look at the next question. Who are the sports stars? So in the text, there were mentioned few names or three names. What were these three names? It's names of Korean players, right? So who are the sports stars? So we're asking about people here. We have WH word, who? They are Lim, Lim Yon Han. This is the first one. And Cho Yon Sang. This is the second one. And we have Su Jin Han. Now, the next question here, what sport do they play? What sport do they play? So everyone are cheering and uh, waving signs and singing uh, for them. But what sport do they play? These three players, they are professional video gamers. They are professional video gamers. That's why people are cheering for them. Now, how about this question? Are they playing today? So from the article, are they playing today? No, they aren't. But in the weekend, they are uh, playing, uh, they are preparing for the competition. So they are not playing uh, today, but they are preparing for the competition. And the fans are uh, waving and uh, shouting for the, their pl the players, the three players. Now, how about this question? Where are the tournament finals? Where? They are in stadium. So at the end of the mall, there is a what? The stadium, so they can play. So where are the uh, tournament finals? It's going to be, or they are in stadiums. Now, the next question, what is bang, a bang? What is the meaning of this word? So from the text, did you, uh, did you underline or did you find the meaning of the word bang? So the question here, what is a bang? That means what is the meaning of this word? 
a bank is a public PC gaming room. So it's a public PC for personal computer. It's a public personal computer or PC gaming room. So a bank, it's the name of the room. Now, the next question, what do some parents in South Korea think about video games? Did they like it? They didn't like it? So from the article, what did the parents in South Korea think about this game, the, the video games? So they encouraged their children to play video games as a way to relax, uh, as an escape from academic pressure or academic stress, and as a fun way to use brain power. Now, in the article, they were mentioned something about critical thinking and uh, a strategic way to solve problems. So that's why parents and in Korea are encouraging their, their children to play video games. Now, let's have this discussion. So I have here two questions for you. I want you to think about it and I will show you what I think about it, okay? So here, discuss the good and the bad things about video games. And do you think video games are good or bad? And explain why. So what, uh, what are we going to talk about? The pros and cons or the good things and the bad things about video games. We are comparing between the good things and the bad things in the video games. So this is what I wrote here. I did put a chart. The good, the good things about video games, I list some of the things. And here, the bad things about video games, and I listed some things. I want you to do the same thing, and so, so you can decide. What do you think, finally, about these video games? So, uh, let's take a look. The good things about video games, uh, I wrote here. It's fun, it is exciting, and it's challenging. So, in the article, there were mentioned three uh, players, right? So, it's a challenge between these three players. They're competing and they're having fun. So actually, it's exciting to, to go and cheer these, uh, these players. So it looks like the fans are having fun here in, um, in the article. So it is fun, exciting, and challenging. challenging. So these, I think these are the good things. But what about the bad things about video games? So I think it's a bad thing that it takes time. So, so like sometimes uh, the players are going to play for long hours, right? I think it's, it's a bad thing. And kids are not moving a lot. So in the picture before, I, show, I did show you the picture of the boy playing the video game and the boy is sitting. So it's, if it's going to take long hours, that means the boy is not going to move for a long time. So I think this is a bad thing. But here I wrote one, two, three things and uh, the good thing and two things here in the bad thing, in the section of the bad things. So I want you to think, what do you think about this game? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Try to list your reasons uh, for being a good thing and list the reasons of you thinking that it is a bad thing. Now, let's have a writing activity here. Write about your favorite game. Answer these uh, questions and uh, gather the information to write a text or a paragraph about it, about the games. Now, let's answer this question. How do you play it? So, what is your favorite game? How do you play it? And what are the rules? So, different games or different, uh, yes, different games have different rules. So, try to answer this one. How do you play it? And what are the rules? And the next question, what do you like about it? Next one. How often do you play it? And are you good at the game? The last question here, what special skills do you need to play the game? So here are the questions. Try to answer these questions. Gather the information that, or gather the answers you wrote and try to write a text or a paragraph about your favorite game. So let's take a look here. Look at the picture. What do you think of this game? What do you think is this game? It's puzzles, right? So let's uh, take a look at these answers. So these are answers uh, together to form these, uh, this paragraph. So let's read it. My favorite game is puzzle. You just add the correct pieces together to complete the pictures. I like completing the pictures at the end of the game. 
I usually play with puzzles twice a week. I am very good at it. I know how to find the correct pieces by following the lines. You need to be accurate about the lines to be able to play them. So, as you can see here, we did uh, answers together to form this paragraph. Now, let's take a look. What did we do today and what did we do in today's lesson? We identified the past, uh, pastime game or activity from the text. And we answered questions about the games and we formed or write uh, and we did write a uh, paragraph. Now, for your homework, what are you going to do? I have this question here for you as an example. You're going to do the same thing, but with different questions. So write a question and uh, answer for each picture. So look at this picture. What do you see here? What is this person doing in, the, in this picture? So here we have a keyword or a clue. Here we have the word cook. So we are going to ask a question using the word cook. Look, the word cook, it is related to the picture, right? So let's take a look. Here we have a yes, no question. Is he cooking? The answer is yes, he is. Is he cooking? Look at the picture. Yes, he is. You're going to do the same thing, but with another two pictures. Here you have the picture of the boy playing this video game and you have this picture of the boy playing the basketball. So let's take a look at the keywords here to write the question. Here we have the word eat. So it's a yes no question. You're going to use the word eat. So you go look at the picture. Is it related to the, uh, the word eat? Is the word eat related to the picture? So what uh, question are you going to write? And the answer is, is it going to be, uh, yes, he's eating? So try to write uh, a suitable question and a suitable answer. Now, the next one here, we have play basketball. Look at the picture. Is the boy playing here basketball? So you're going to write a question and an answer here that is suitable for the picture and the keyword we have here. Play basketball, look at the picture. Here we have eat and look at the picture. So we are going to check the answers together in the next lesson. So I will see you. Thank you very much, my dear students. I will see you in the next lesson and we are going to uh, answer the questions here we have in the homework.